My name is Tanya. I'm a full-time missionary. I'm from Ukraine. I met Tanya because she was one of the only people in church who spoke English. So <laughs> she was my translator for a while. And then we started working in the English ministry. People want to study English, but on the one hand it costs money, and on the other hand uh, you don't have much, many opportunities to do that with native speakers, like American teachers. And if you do that for free, people are willing to come. But, you know, people come because they want to get something. They don't come here to get to know God, but in the process they get to know lots about God and the uh, Holy Spirit it makes, he makes them think of what is their position in life now, um, how do they live their life, are they following God or not. So we're here in English class again, and it's awesome. I once attended an English school, an English Christian classes. It was when I was 18, then I came when I was 19, 20, uh, led by other Americans when I didn't know who God was and that he wanted to have personal relationships with me. I saw for the first time probably that God's love through those people. Like God put into my heart that idea of doing something similar. Firstly, um, there was my profession like teaching English and the other thing, uh, it worked with me. When we were doing the English school and I was the only American, we had to do three groups at different times, back to back to back. When rural racers come, because there's six or seven or eight racers alongside of us, we can do a lot more in a lot shorter period of time. And there's more energy, there's more excitement. We had a World Race Team come, we did the English program, we did the week inside of um, the city in Rivna, and then we decided to take them outside of town for a few days um, so that they can get away from their daily activities, so that they can have focused time with the Americans that they already became friends with. And we could um, pour more into them because we'd be spending um, three or four days with them all day, every day, eating together, sleeping together, playing together, laughing together. This is Capture the Flag, and I'm going to win. Every year, God is doing a different job, and it's amazing to see how He continues from year to year doing something more. This year, the number of students rose immensely. Actually, we expected for 35 people coming like in total, but we have 62, so you can see it's like twice, it doubled. And it also like more people from the church, uh, they were willing to participate uh, in organizing the camp. I pray that each and every one of us will go home and we'll continue to think about um, what we heard and what we felt and any decisions that we made. We've never had students sign up to go to the camp outside of town on the first day of English school. And this time we had students sign up immediately. God was already doing something in their lives. We've seen people, even in this camp, who had some experience um, with church or with hearing about God in their lives before, but maybe they've forgotten about it. And this uh, camp that we've had here has like awakened something in them and they're beginning to ask spiritual questions. It's interesting because Ukrainians are more willing to open up to Americans in English about spiritual things than they are to open up to Ukrainians. Oh my God, it's love.